Good morning, traders. Welcome to the Asian Preview, North America wrap. Well, after a long weekend in the U.S. and the U.K., we had some uh, pretty serious fireworks over in Europe. This was yesterday's Italian BTP, uh, the 10-year yield. We went from 230, and then today we got as high as 320. This is a massive move. This is bigger than anything we've really se we've seen, and you know you can go way back to the 2011. Um, let me get to a weekly. These moves, what we've seen these past few weeks, are are really uh, are really massive. Yeah, you know, you can see this thing has just been sideways, and it doesn't look like I even have data from back to 2011. But just to just to put things in perspective, it's a it, it's a massive move, and uh, you know this has been going on now for a couple of weeks. All of the political situation is is uh, is very negative, and uh, you know trying to form a government and. I think that there's probably more pain to this trade. Uh, the liquidity evaporated today in a big way, and uh, a lot of the dealers were saying how they just couldn't get out of positions. You certainly can't. Um, you can't uh, cover things in an Ill illiquid market, and uh, this the two-year and the ten-year, pretty much all the the ten-year and under PTPs um, just had massive moves. So. We know that that's going to f have an impact on things like the S&P, European stock markets. Uh, this is not a good looking chart. How do I fix this? Uh, pretty heavy. S&Ps are down just over 1%. The NASDAQ about a half percent today. Um, Take a look here at the uh, the DAX, the German DAX index, down about one and a half percent. Even uh, the UK was not spared with the FTSE falling 1.2 percent. You know, it was just a just some really really big moves. Here's a, a the daily uh, Bund chart, the Bund future. You can see how we've had this, this massive move from 158 all the way up to 164.50 today, approaching some old highs. So. <coughs> You know this this risk off sentiment spread you know right, right across all markets and uh, you know we'll we'll take a look at the, the currencies you can look at things like euro yen had a big down day the past two days took out some old support um, and that was after a gap higher on on Sunday on the uh, Asian Open on Monday uh, the euro dollar plumbed to new lows and uh, let me show you this trend line I drew. In, uh, in the euro, let me get back to the euro dollar chart, but you can see how important um, this level is. For some reason, it did not it did not update, but uh, we are approaching a very big support level down here at 115. The figure. Uh, 114.56. This area in here is, is extremely important support. Um, so we're watching that. Euro Swiss is another uh, another currency. We'll take a look at Euro Yen. There's the Euro Yen. Ugly. Well, it did bounce a little bit. Same thing with Euro Swiss. We got down to 113.70 and bounced up to uh, about 114.40 on the close. So I got a target down here, 113.25, that I'm looking for. Um, so, you know, in, until the, here's dollar yen, again, just, you know, more risk off. I, again, there was a little bit um, of a move higher late in the day as the equity markets recovered off their lows. I mean, had about a 15, 20 point rally in S&P. Um, mainly on the back of um, a few comments that were that came over the wires uh, from Italy. Let's see if I can find that email. 
anyhow, I mean, risk recovered a, a little bit, but it was, you know, fairly a dead cat type bounce. And uh, you know, one of the things we have to look out for is that Italy is a, a major player. This is not Greece. This is a you know fourth largest bond market in the world. And uh, if liquidity is at a premium, we know liquidity trumps anything. And if liquidity is at premium and people are trying to unwind positions, it, this could get very disorderly very quickly. So pay attention um, because I do think it's going to be one of the, the key drivers going forward. DeMeo did say um, that he is ready to cooperate with the Italian president on, the, on forming a government. So that was that, that headline kind of late in the day before stocks closed. And, uh, you know, the, that was the, a little bit of a relief out rally. But we think that selling risk on rallies is, is the way to go. So we'll leave you at that. Uh, we have some uh, uh, German CPI numbers coming out. Those could be interesting. And um, then the Bank of Canada tomorrow, which we think will be kind of a non-event. Uh, Let's take a look at Dollar Cat quick. Dollar Cat has had a uh, a decent move up once it broke that 129.25, and we closed up here at 130.12. Looks like we probably are going to go ahead and retest these old highs. Um, you know, if they are at all concerned about the eurozone, uh, Italy and the eurozone, they I think that Canada is a good and coupled with. The NAFTA and the tariffs and everything else that's going on on the U.S. and North American side, I think Dollar CAD could, could take another leg up through these highs. So we'll be watching this tomorrow. But we are expecting kind of an uneventful uh, day for uh, Bank Academy. There's no press conference and no meeting after. All right, well, good luck trading, and you will hear from us on the European Open. Cheers.